There's something moving through the universe completely invisible to our eyes. It's so tiny that we could never see it, yet it carries an unimaginable amount of energy, more powerful than anything humanity has ever created, even in the most advanced particle accelerators. Imagine something smaller than a speck of dust, yet it holds an almost unfathomable force. A force beyond anything the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, could ever generate. And that tiny, powerful particle is heading straight for Earth. In 1991, a group of scientists detected something extraordinary, something that defied all expectation. A single subatomic particle carrying an energy level unlike anything we had ever observed before. They called it the Oh My God particle. And for good reason. It was so absurdly powerful that it seemed almost impossible. But here's the truly unsettling part. We have no idea where it came from. No one knows what could have launched a particle with such extreme energy. And this remains one of the greatest unsolved mysteries in modern astrophysics. What could possibly accelerate a single proton to such mind-bending speeds, hurling it across millions of light years? Was it a supernova explosion? A supermassive black hole? Or could it be something far beyond our current understanding? I'm James Brown, and you're watching Astra. Join me today as we dive into one of the greatest questions in the cosmos. Where do the universe's most powerful particles truly come from? One, the Oh My God particle, the most powerful particle ever detected. In 1991, deep in the barren deserts of Utah, a group of scientists was scanning the sky using a special instrument called the fly's eye detector. And then they saw something unbelievable, a tiny particle, so small it was nearly invisible, yet it carried an amount of energy that defied all logic. This particle was moving at nearly the speed of light and carried an energy of three quintillion electron volts, equivalent to a tennis ball traveling at 100 kilometers per hour. But here's the catch. All that energy was packed into a single proton. What's even more astonishing is that no human-made machine has ever come close to producing something this powerful, not even the Large Hadron Collider, the most advanced particle accelerator ever built. So what could possibly launch a proton at such an unimaginable speed and energy? Where did it come from? Two, what are cosmic rays? Cosmic rays are high-energy particles that race through space at nearly the speed of light. They can be protons, electrons, or even atomic nuclei from heavier elements like iron and oxygen. These particles originate from the most extreme events in the universe, supernova explosions, supermassive black holes, and perhaps even from the early moments of the universe itself. But here's where things get strange. Low-energy cosmic rays are fairly common. However, ultra-high-energy cosmic rays, like the Oh My God particle, are incredibly rare. In fact, only a handful have ever been detected in decades of observation. So, what makes some cosmic rays reach these mind-boggling energy levels? Three. Where do they come from, an unsolved cosmic mystery? Scientists have proposed several theories to explain the origins of these particles, but the truth remains elusive. One leading hypothesis suggests they might come from the most powerful objects in the universe, supermassive black holes known as quasars and blazars. As matter falls into a black hole, not all of it is consumed. Some of its energy gets converted into powerful jets of radiation and particles blasting outward at nearly the speed of light. These jets could accelerate cosmic rays to extreme speeds, launching them across the cosmos. But there are other possibilities. 
Some scientists believe that supernova explosions or the collisions of neutron stars could generate massive shock waves, catapulting particles to incredible velocities. And then there are the more radical theories, ones that suggest these particles could originate from dark matter interactions or even extra dimensions, far beyond anything we currently understand. Despite all these possibilities, the truth is, we still don't have a definitive answer. But why is it so difficult to trace these cosmic rays back to their origins? And how are scientists trying to crack this mystery? Let's explore that in the next section. Ultra-high energy cosmic rays are like mysterious messages sent across the universe. But here's the problem. We don't know who or what is sending them. These particles may originate from some of the most extreme phenomena in the cosmos. But what could be their true source? Let's explore the leading theories and uncover what in the universe could be launching these incredibly powerful particles. 1. Quasars, blazars, and supermassive black holes. When it comes to the most powerful objects in the universe, nothing compares to supermassive black holes. Hidden in the hearts of galaxies, these cosmic giants devour everything in their reach, gas, dust, even entire stars. But in doing so, they unleash enormous jets of energy that travel across the cosmos at nearly the speed of light. These powerful jets may be capable of accelerating particles to mind-blowing speeds, turning them into the ultra-high energy cosmic rays we detect. A prime example of this is Quasar 3 C2733, one of the brightest known quasars. Located 2.4 billion light years away, but if quasars are indeed responsible for these cosmic rays, why don't we see a clear directional pattern in their arrival on Earth? Why do they appear to come from seemingly random points in the sky? Could there be another explanation? 2. Supernovae and Neutron Stars Another strong contender for the source of these particles is supernovae. When a massive star reaches the end of its life, it erupts in a violent explosion, sending powerful shockwaves across space. These shockwaves could accelerate cosmic rays to extreme speeds. Then there are neutron stars, the incredibly dense remnants left behind after a supernova. Among them, pulsars rapidly spinning neutron stars generate magnetic fields millions of times stronger than Earth's. These fields could act as natural particle accelerators, launching cosmic rays deep into space. But here's the issue. While supernovae and pulsars may be capable of accelerating particles to high speeds, are they truly powerful enough to explain the most extreme cosmic rays we've detected? Some scientists believe they're only part of the equation. 3. A new kind of physics? But what if these particles don't come from any of the sources we know? What if they're signs of an entirely new kind of physics? Some scientists speculate that ultra-high energy cosmic rays might be linked to dark matter, a mysterious substance that makes up about 85% of the universe's mass, yet remains invisible and undetectable by conventional means. Others go even further, suggesting that these particles may be slipping into our universe from extra dimensions, or created by mechanisms beyond the standard model of physics. If true, these particles could completely change our understanding of the universe, revealing hidden forces and new fundamental laws of nature we've yet to discover. With so many possibilities, why haven't we found a definitive answer yet? What makes tracking down the origins of these cosmic rays so incredibly difficult? And how are scientists trying to solve this mystery? Let's explore that in the next section. We know that the most energetic particles in the universe travel vast cosmic distances before reaching us, carrying clues about their origins. 
but there's a major problem. We can't actually see where they came from. Why? This is one of the greatest challenges in studying cosmic rays. They don't travel in straight lines. Unlike light, cosmic rays are charged particles. As they journey across the universe, they are deflected by magnetic fields, those of our galaxy, galactic clusters, and even Earth's own magnetic shield. This scrambles their original trajectory, making it nearly impossible to trace them back to their source. Imagine throwing a stone into a lake, but instead of sinking in a straight path, it gets pushed and pulled by underwater currents. By the time it reaches the lake bed, you have no way of knowing where it was thrown from. This is exactly what happens with cosmic rays. One challenge one, the extreme rarity of ultra energetic particles. Another major issue, the most energetic cosmic rays, like the oh my god particle, are extraordinarily rare. While billions of low energy cosmic rays bombard Earth every second, the most powerful ones are detected only once every few decades. This means that even with the best telescopes and detectors, we must wait years, sometimes decades, just to catch one of these elusive particles. So how do we study something so rare? Two, challenge two, how do we catch these particles? Thankfully, scientists have found a way to catch these high-energy cosmic rays by using Earth's atmosphere as a giant detector. When a high-energy cosmic ray collides with molecules in the atmosphere, it triggers a massive chain reaction, creating a shower of secondary particles that spread out like a cone over a vast area. This phenomenon is called an air shower. Facilities like the Pierre Auger Observatory in Argentina and the Telescope Array in Utah use hundreds of detectors spread across thousands of square kilometers to capture these air showers as they reach the ground. By studying these secondary particles, we can indirectly infer the properties of the original cosmic ray, even if we never see it directly. 3. The future. Can we catch even more? But scientists don't want to stop at ground-based observatories. Some upcoming projects are exploring the idea of placing cosmic ray detectors in space, where they can spot these particles before they even reach our atmosphere. If successful, this could dramatically increase the number of cosmic rays we detect, giving us a clearer picture of where they originate and how they move through space. And if we do unlock the secrets of these powerful particles, what could that mean for our understanding of physics? Could it reveal new fundamental forces or unknown aspects of the universe? In the next part, we'll explore what solving this mystery could mean for the future of science. Stay tuned. From brilliant quasars and explosive supernovae to the unsolved mysteries of dark matter and extra dimensions. The origin of the most energetic particles in the universe remains one of the greatest unanswered questions in science. Each of these particles is like a puzzle piece, part of a much larger cosmic picture. If we can decode their origins, we might unlock some of the deepest secrets of space and time perhaps even new laws of physics, or the first glimpse into an unknown universe. So what is really happening out there? Are we overlooking something crucial? And more importantly, where do you think these cosmic rays truly come from? Let's hear your thoughts in the comments below. Do you believe these cosmic rays originate from supermassive black holes? Or could they be something entirely new, beyond our current understanding of the universe? If you enjoyed this deep dive into one of the universe's greatest mysteries, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That way, you won't miss our next journey into the unknown corners of space. The universe is filled with mysteries waiting to be explored. And we, we've only just begun our journey of understanding it. See you in the next video, where we continue unraveling the wonders of the cosmos.